Welcome to another Kids at Float adventure. This time we're going out on our beautiful new Hue and Pine Sloop, Hermione of the Derwent, for the very first time as a family. She's been in repair for the last couple of months and we are just so excited today that our dream is finally becoming a reality. In fact, today we're going to tell you a story of a lot of different dreams. Of course, there's the dream of Hermione of the Derwent, but this guy, he dreams of jumping off the boat. Same as this guy. This little guy dreams of seeing wildlife. And these guys, one of them dreams about anchor and the other one, well, I think he just wants to relax. So we headed away across from Kettering over to Barnes Bay to explore the beautiful little sheltered anchorage called Duck Pond. The Duck Pond. So here we are cutting off the salt sign and getting ready for our biggest new adventure yet. The salt sign was very stuck on the boat and I had to use a knife that is normally used to cut stuck ropes on the boat to cut the cable ties off. This is the view towards Hobart. After the Kettering Wooden Boat Rally next weekend, we will be heading back up that passageway to Hermione's new berth at Lindisfarne Motor Yacht Club. Today we're sailing down the peninsula and with Lucas sailing, we're gonna smash yeah, into this to. island. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, God. We're gonna smash into the island. Going really well. Yes, yes. I know, mate. Right. That brain has gone. I did this all using telepathy. Did you? Yeah. And a little bit of arm strength, which I have not. You're totally pathetic. <laughs> oh God, Mum. <laughs> what are you doing? I guess we haven't got a sailing. We haven't got a what? Pedal. Ah, sadly, no. I'm steering the Vokes, I'm amazing. That's pretty cool. Barnes Bay is a significant historical site in Tasmania. It was first inhabited by the Nuu people. In 1856, European farmers moved in. And then, at the beginning of World War I, it was turned into a quarantine station. 
After World War I, when Spanish flu was rife, the quarantine station housed many of the returned soldiers of war. After the quarantine station, you veer down south into a lovely little cove. There's a sheltered anchorage here, just off to the right of the screen, called Gentleman's. And beyond Gentleman's, our destination for the day, the Duck Pond, a sheltered all-weather anchorage, which Ben assures me never gets really rough or choppy, even if the wind is whistling overhead. It was just around lunchtime when we set anchor in the duck pond to enjoy a lovely day of dive bombing and exploring. We're in a duck pond. Yeah, somehow the boat yeah. ended up on land and we just drove it straight into the duck pond, you know, just... <laughs> and the duck's like... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's what I want. I was thinking 20 horse, but anyway. Yeah. 10 horse would probably do it. No! More power, man. More power. We're building a 400 horse V8. We'll throw that on it. Guys, Lockie. What's going on? Uh, he's trying to get down there and I was sitting down there. Hey! Hey, the pushy. I swear to God, I like it. That's my favourite hat. It's my favourite hat too, and that's the hat I normally wear while we're no sailing. Body. That's the hat where I want to like <laughs> step in or something. You I can wanna... bomb it. No. Lucky, you want to know a good way to jump in, right? Yeah, okay. Stand up here. Stand up here. I don't really don't, want to don't... jump in. Okay, then. You don't want to go in. No, I don't want to jump in. Okay, then don't jump in. Or what you can do, Lucky. Can you see her edge fouling here? Luca, it's really not too bad. Cold! The more you swim, the warmer you'll get. Can you just say that? Yeah. Because you get warmer when you swim and you move. Jump off, G. Oh, God, help me. Oh. 
And stop calling me that. Uh, it is this game! Mate, no, no. There it goes, it's swimming away. Uh, Gee, tell me, what did you just do? We saw an octopus on the anchor. Lucky, what? Um, our parents were just pulling up the anchor as they said, come here, there's an octopus in our anchor. So I went out over there and there was an octopus just clinging to the anchor. That is so cool. What colour was it? Um, orange. Orange? For real? Yeah, actually it was a pinky orange yeah, colour. Yeah. And it was cool as because he would actually use this suction cuff to like hug the anchor. How cool yeah. And um, as we pulled the anchor out of the water, he'll go to the pool, back into the water, and then he hugged the anchor again and pulled up. <laughs> and he just wouldn't let go until the anchor finally came out. Oh, he's done alright, isn't he? Getting a lift up to the top. I thought we should have calamari. Oh, what? We're doing calamari? I don't want to eat an octopus. We yeah, couldn't. I never eat an octopus. It was actually a dog. Just watch your head reverse the wind. Yeah, no, in a corner. I'm going to say, I'm just thinking I'm in the firing line right here, but don't need my teeth. Drowning Lockie, actually. Get up! Get up! Get down there. Get down there. You go down there and fear a human being. What? You can always sit on his knee. No. I, you dare oh, me to try. try. <laughs> 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 this isn't working for you, is it, Lockie? No, it's One, I always love going sailing with Ben, but apart from being a great friend, Ben is also the boat Yoda. And sometimes when you go out with Ben, you get to learn a little bit more, like some of the cool modifications that he does on the fly. Um. 
Oh, so it's yeah. an outhaul on the pole. It pulls it out, so it's quite easy to let go, roll up the sail, and sort the pole out afterwards. certainly isn't 20 fathoms here. <laughs> I would say it's more like 20 feet. Okay, so maybe it's stayed in feet. And here she is, the final dream of the day. The beautiful Hermione of the Derwent, who turns 50 next year on the 17th of March. I think we'll have to have a party. But for now, all I can say is that all of our dreams came true today. And we hope so much that you've enjoyed our story and maybe learnt a little bit about the beautiful place that we live in on the way. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>